in the beginning, we didn't think too much about the contamination of the river. We only were thinking about the business corridor of Montauk Highway. Later on, when Forge River became so dead, basically, that became a huge issue. We became the first community in the town of Brookhaven to do a visioning. Out of that visioning came the need for sewers. There was the excessive amount of nitrogen from the cesspools into the Forge River. Uh, the downtown uh, Mastic has never been able to have a nice restaurant um, because of the lack of sewers. There was a lot of studies had to be done and Sandy happened. Out of the federal appropriations, some of the CDBG funds, approximately $200 million was allocated for sewers for the Mastic Shirley area. This project uh, will connect just under 2,000 residential properties and provide the ability to connect 154 commercial properties along the Montauk Highway Corridor to a state-of-the-art treatment facility. It will help us to eliminate nearly 2,000 uh, cesspools and septic systems in, in the community which are impacting groundwater and will allow us to eliminate an equal number of cesspools and septic systems at uh, commercial sites and allow some of those businesses to connect to sewer providing great economic development opportunity. Uh, we also were able to work very close with the county executive's office and his team to be able to get the, the dollar figure down to the right price to make it be affordable for our residents. Every other month I held an education and informational meeting locally at our community firehouse. The approval of the Suffolk County Legislature would be contingent on approval by the voters at a referendum. There was an 85% voter approval for this project as a result of the significant outreach effort that took place in advance of the project. It's going to protect our watershed. The other part, it's going to create a nice downtown in the Mastic community. When you bring more businesses to our community, more people are going to want to buy homes in our community, more people are going to want to stay in our community. And I think that's how you're going to see the future of our community grow over the next 10 years.